Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Here we are at another tournament end. So, wasn't able to get number one, but hey, it is what it is. 299 instead of that 305 guy that I cannot get to. Well done, Melanie. Well done, Melanie. All right, let's collect them prize. Let's see where we are. Our Firestones is going to leave us at 16.11. I'm pretty sure I got all the achievements today. Yep. So, mm, I do not think that I will try and go for the top 10%. And it is probably not going to be worth it as I'll probably have to spend about 4 or 5 chests in order to solidify in the top 10%. So, that is not going to happen. However, guys, topic of today as we're looking at Reddit... People are talking about will this game get any worse? So basically what happens is that we are able to prestige pretty quickly. Once you get to a certain level, you can prestige under two minutes, right? Prestiging under two minutes is absolutely amazing. However, you will get an error that says error 402, error 202, whatever the number is, basically stopping people from hacking and doing too many prestiges at under two minutes. So that is a bit of a nuisance and I do understand the frustration from people. However, if you can check on Reddit, we do have a bit of a new update on all the different equipments coming up. Uh, they reintroduced um, Blade Bombardment we just had on the uh, AT, which is the Bissell tournament on the weekend. And even encourages you to join Orca. So if you've never heard of Orca, you really need to check out Reddit. Join Orca, jump on Discord, and you're going to be able to see all kinds of different builds on how to get there within the first two hours and farm level 10, which is what I have been doing. So hopefully that encourages you to keep going there. So the, go back to the question, is this game getting worse? I say no, a big fat no, because you're not going to find another mobile game that has updates this frequent, that listens to people and actually helps people out. And on top of that, it is very entertaining. It has already been about so what, six, six, seven, eight years that I've been playing this game, two years away, and even then you come back, so many changes and so many updates that you don't even recognize the game because they just keep on making improvements over and over again. So the next event that's gonna be coming up will be the Tavern. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not very sure what's gonna happen, but I do look forward to the new event. And guys, let me know what you think. Do you think this game is going to get worse? I really don't think it will. I think it's only getting better. Uh, it keeps improving. There's always new items and new ways of doing things. And on top of that, you look at all the mythic sets, legendary sets. And on top of that, if you look at the different types of builds that you can do, you can literally have one. Look here. Blade Bombardment, which is the... Um, you're going to use the daggers. You have the daggers. You have Shadow Clone, which is back in the days. I used that build until I was about 110,000 and then stopped using it and then started using the clan ship as the clan ship was becoming stronger. And you also have the pet build, which is a whole lot stronger as well than before. And you also do have Heavenly Strike, which is also absolutely amazing. So my three favorite are these, which is clan ship, pet, and angelic. It's a lot of fun, however. If you're lazy, you just want to farm, farm, farm and not think too much, Shadow Clone is literally the best way of winning at the end of the day because you're not going to be tapping that much and it just takes a lot less time and effort for you to do so. So it just depends on your build, depends where you are, depends what you want to do. But these are all your different options that you do have. So guys, we look forward to the new event. Um, and to be honest with you, I do not think, going back to the question, I do not think that the game is getting worse. I believe the game is always improving, always getting better. However, we cannot expect a game to do absolutely amazing miracles and everything that we want and be free to play. I think that's just very unfair on the developers and the fact that they have this ability to keep on going and to keep on surviving in spite of the game being free to play, which is absolutely amazing. I think we're actually in an absolute bargain to play a game like this. So let me know what you guys think and, and just leave a comment at the bottom and thank you all for watching, appreciate it. Press a like on, on the button below and subscribe and that's going to help me boost a lot more uh, views. So thank you guys, catch you all later, bye bye.